I should be, all I got to do is adjourn the meeting. But before I do, Charlie would like to say a few words, and then I will do that job. Charlie. This may be why I need that crying towel. You know, I, when I decided to run for president, I had a lot of my friends say, uh, Charlie, what are you doing? Are you going crazy? You know, FMCA, at that time, we were losing a lot of money. Times were hard. We were all kind of down. Our chin was hanging down. Uh, our membership was, we were losing five, six hundred members a month, uh, five thousand a year. And boy, it was hard to smile. In fact, I remember talking with uh, Charlie Schrenkel and we talked about a long range planning committee and thought, gosh, long range is next week. And uh, it was tough times and I felt like we needed a cheerleader. We thought we needed a cheerleader far more than we needed anything else. We have smart people on our board. We have smart people on that staff. So I didn't feel like we had to have a guy that's really smart, because I'm not. What I felt like we really needed was someone that emulated Sam Walton as he did with Walmart. And Sam was not a real, real numbers guy. Uh, he couldn't figure out how to do all this barcode stuff but he was a cheerleader. He'd go into his stores and gather his associates around, lead them in cheers, and then he'd get in his pickup truck and drive off. And I felt like that FMCA needed a cheerleader, and I ran, and I, I really ran to be a cheerleader of FMCA. I hope I've done that. I've tried my best. <laughs> and in the course of being that cheerleader, I fell in love with every one of you. I fell in love with every FMCA member in FMCA. I've joked many times that I, I would love to talk and touch every person here, every member in FMCA, and sometimes I end up shaking your hand three or four times because I forgot I'd already shook your hand, and some of you I'd never get around to, so I, I said I'd like to have a felt tip pen to walk around for dollar on your forehead so I know I've got you. <laughs> so the other day someone said, you probably better put a dot on my head. So I took my pen out <laughs> and I drew a dot on your head. So I've had a lot of people say to me this week, uh, so what's it feel like? Well, it's bittersweet. We, I think John and I have accomplished what we set out to do. I think we've got FMCA back on the roll again. I was curious, uh, the month of June, we had uh, the best month we've ever had that we could look back in the history of FMCA. We had over a, a thousand plus members for the month of June. And we could never, thank you. Penny and her department searched the records and went back into the 80s and they could not find one year, one month that we had ever had that number. Uh, we really had more than that, but 500 of them wanted their money back when we lost the Verizon deal. But after we took those out, we still were, had over 100 or 1,000 plus month. So I think we're back on the road again. I really felt so good about that. I called Noah and asked him, I said, what was our membership number in 19, I mean, uh, 2013 when I came in as president? Because I'm thinking, well, oh, I've really grown the FMCA. And he said 78,000. That kind of deflated me a little bit because we're at 73,000 now. But to tell you where we've come from, we dropped, I think, probably about 2014. I think I've got my years right. We hit 67,000. And we did not have a, a positive number until 2016, when we ended up with a 616 positive number. Remember, we turned that 5,000 loss around, so we had a growth of 5,616. 
we're already this at this point this physical year we're a plus two thousand for the year already so we've turned that five thousand loss around and added two thousand already so this year in my mind would be a seven thousand every year turnaround year so we're doing good our membership is growing i'm not gonna miss it every day of my life uh, you cannot imagine i have lived and breathed FMCA, FMCA members, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the last four years. So when you call me and you have a little bit of trouble getting hold of FMCA Assist, I'll be readily be ready to give you John Walker's phone number, <laughs> and I'm sure he will take care of your problem. John is a little more electronically inclined than I am, so you always knew if you sent me an email, you had to put your phone number down so I could call you, and I always did, because I don't type, so, but I do call. They found out real quick they better get lots of minutes from me when I got in the office. And I've had, the, the humorous times have been when uh, Someone would send me an email, and I'm sitting there watching TV, play a spider solitaire, and I show that I had an email, and I'd look, and I'd read it, and they'd have their phone number on there. I'd call them right back, and they'd say, I just hit send, and you're already calling? <laughs> and they were surprised that the president would call them, number one. They were really surprised that I called them within a minute after they sent me the email. And uh, John will probably respond back with an email and answer you, because he can type. I couldn't type. I could I always tell everyone I can read real well. You can send me emails, I can read them. They did teach me how to read, but they never did teach me how to type. It's been a wonderful four years, and uh, I'll try to save my tears till later. I've never, never liked someone standing up here and saying, gosh, it's finally over. I'm through. I didn't think this day would ever get here. Well. I knew this day we'd get here. I knew this yesterday when I came into office, and it seems like it was just yesterday that John and I started this journey, and it's over uh, the part of the president, and I'm, I'm sad to go out of office. I'm excited for John and this new board. They're going to do great things. Uh, they've, got, they've got the whole world in front of them to work on for you, the membership, and remember, they work for you. You don't work for them. So you really outrank every one of them and me. And keep that in mind. Thank you, Joe. So, with no further business, I will adjourn the business part of this meeting. Now comes the fun. We will have a drawing for 10 $250 cash participation awards.